Okay, howdy howdy everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And I'm back for some more. More Cataclysm! Yay! <laughs> I've had a whole weekend without it. I'm gonna go into a Cataclysm, cataclysm Withdrawal. Alright, where were we? Uh, Stephanie Strange the third, Our female bionic cyclist. Yeah, I remember her. Um... Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's talk about Stephanie. Uh, so 14 strength. Yay. That's kind of super strength for me. And we're going to push it even further, hopefully. 889. Nothing impressive for the rest of that. And uh, some fleet foot indefatigable martial arts, night vision, robust genetics, which we haven't started using yet. And we know Taekwondo. So this is kind of complicated build. This relies on a lot of overlapping stuff to really make it take off and be powerful. We're not there yet, not even remotely. Um, and on the negative side, oh, Imperceptive Healer, <laughs> my old friend. Yes, we're running Imperceptive Healer on top of the already base slow healing, and uh, this is the first time I've tried it, and it's it's pretty painful. Uh, we let our arms get hammered pretty, pretty badly, and uh, it's going to take us quite a while to get that heal back up again. So um, I'm not sure. I I'm going to keep... Plugging away at it. We're only at uh, first aid one, I think. Yeah, first aid one. I want to get it to at least three and uh, then kind of test it out and see how it heals up the damage. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be comfortable in my normal play to go with Imperceptive Healer every time or whether or not I'll go with uh, the poor healer. So we'll see. Um, haven't decided quite yet. But uh, we got a little bit of bionics, a little bit of bionic power. We got the, the muscles, hydraulic muscles. Which we haven't used too much yet. And uh, the metabolic interchange to power things up. Adrenaline pump for emergencies. And the muscle log, which is giving me extra two points of strength. So there we go. Um, our situation is that we are here at the top of a lab. Um, which is goodish. Um, I'm okay with that. So I'm trying to remember the various lab parts that we're dealing with right now. Um, our... Stairs out is right there. We're set up right here. We got some light and we've got a six liter tank for water that uh, we can get right there. So we're in perfect place. We do have an auto dock right next to us. Once we do start fiddling with the CBM stuff. Uh, one other thing to make mention of is I have actually updated the, uh, the experimental build. So we're up to build 9432, which was the most recent I could pick as of... Um, just a few minutes ago. So I upgraded right before we got things started. So there's been a number of changes. Uh, some of them I haven't had time to actually look at or figure out just what they're going to do. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to run into a bunch of them, I'm sure. Cyborg Harvest. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to click on it right now to go find out. <laughs> so apparently it does something. Uh, so yeah, so that's the kind of situation we're in. So we got some pretty bad arm damage, but we just finished up the entire lab. So we have, we have explored the entire lab all the way down to the finale. We had a nanofabricator finale, which isn't too useful to us. Um, and otherwise we've looted everything except for the bill the, the, the rooms we can't get into. We got a couple libraries and a couple of barracks that, uh, we weren't able to quite get into. Hopefully we can go back down there and get those eventually, but my map memory will fade. It'll be a bit of a pain in the butt. But uh, that's why I, I mark things like that. So we've got a computer there to hack for the map once I get some computer skill. Nothing. Oops, wrong direction. There we've got a barracks and a library on that floor and another library. Fungal infected. Then we've got a bionic vault and a prisoner containment. Nothing. And that's it. So yeah, so not too much. Not too much this time around. Um, no way to get through those doors yet. I have no computer skill and I have no uh, pickaxe or jackhammer or anything like that. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we're at. Um, here's the map above ground. Uh, so we're hanging out down here at this science lab just south of our, south of our starting city of Warren. Uh, we've hit a few of the buildings. We were up here mostly at the beginning, and um, we basically had to roll our bike down south, and uh, we've wandered around a tiny bit, but there's a ton of stuff we haven't gotten to yet. Um, so night raiding into the city will be interesting, and like I said, I've got a complicated build. I'm hoping to eventually become a bike riding archery fiend um, with lots of overlapping and layered bonuses on top of each other, but... Um, 
we're nowhere near that yet. I got I got bionics to do, I got mutations to do, we got skills to do, we got weapons to find, we got a lot of stuff we're gonna get have to get done. So a lot of progress needs to be made still. But um, yeah, so we, uh, we we failed the first two attempts at the challenge. Just 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 bad stuff kept happening. Just bad stuff. Uh, but we managed to survive the third one. The best news, though, is we did conquer the infection. So we are completely infection-free. Uh, no infection status effects, no nothing. So I no longer have the uh, the pressure of getting the infection taken care of. So yay us, we got that done. Uh, now we're kind of at the point where, like I said, we just finished up raiding the lab. I have to uh, take advantage of some of the books, but we're missing a lot. We're missing a lot. We got a lot of gaps. We got a lot of things I can't really do quite yet. Um, we can get our tailoring to six, which would be great, but I don't have uh, fab books, for example. I don't have, I just don't have a lot of stuff. So we're definitely going to have to be making some in-town runs um, in order to get some more books for us to be able to do things. We also don't have a lot of food, so we didn't come across all that much while we were running around in the lab. So we'll need to supplement our food supply. I can't spend a whole bunch of time in here uh, getting some reading done. We have a relatively low intelligence and no reading skills or bonuses, traits, and such. So reading is going to take us a while. It's also going to hurt us when we're trying to do our CBM installs and things like that. And that intelligence is going to drop sharply. We are going to be a combat monster who's a bit dim by the end of this. Because if I do go all the way to uh, some of the beast mutagen uh, post-threshold stuff... Uh, it's going to tank my intelligence, so we're going to lose even further on the intelligence. So I got to time things appropriately. I got to make sure I'm pretty much done with skill leveling up before I get those last few uh, mutation types. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare. If I have to keep reading books when I have four intelligence, for example, I, I don't even want to consider it. <laughs> or craft high-level mutagens or purifiers or anything like that. So, yeah, it's going to be some some thinking and some prepping and uh, some getting some things done before we get to that point. Um, Gear-wise, we're doing okay. Uh, we just finished repairing the stuff we've been wearing so far. Um, we do have a number of decent things. Nothing too exciting. I mean, we're most basically rolling around in the same stuff we started in. I haven't really done much other than add a piece here or there. Um, but we got all the tools, so at least we don't have that problem. We've got, uh, the tool belt is where a lot of them are hanging from right now. Um, but we've got all the basic tools, so we can make whatever we need to. I'm not getting roadblocked by missing hacksaw or missing a wrench. Finally. Um, hate it when that happens. Uh, but we've got all the basics, so no problem there. Um, since I updated, I don't know if... Is, 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 is alcohol still broke? Is alcohol still like five times more effective than it should be? And painkillers five times less effective than I think they should be? I'm thinking that's probably still the case. Um, I don't remember seeing a message about it being changed. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll find out. So there you go. That's kind of what we're doing. Um, I don't have any bow stuff yet. And uh, we're mostly avoiding fighting and or using our CX-4 Storm. I love this gun. I love this gun. It's a great gun. I love it. Especially when I find it super early. Because it uses 9mm ammo, which basically falls from the sky. 9mm just... just you, you almost never run out of 9mm ammo. you got to try real hard. Not to find and or run out of 9mm ammo. Um, and it trains rifles. It's a 9mm rifle, which is awesome. So it trains my skill for later heavier weaponry uh, while using a super easy to come across ammo. Not a lot of damage, but you just keep firing and uh, stuff eventually goes away. Except for the super, super heavily armored stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> the range is incredible too. I don't know. I don't usually care about range. My engagement ranges are usually... Six to ten tiles? <laughs> That's about it. I, I don't care if a thing will fire 400 tiles. If I'm only going to use six to ten of them, it's irrelevant to me. So range really doesn't mean a bunch to me. I think the thing I shoot at furthest is uh, turrets. So maybe I'll have to fire a few less bullets because it's got decent range. But um, yeah, I mean, 13 spaces away from turrets is about the max engagement range I usually end up dealing with. Um, not too often am I firing further than that. All right, um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me uh, let me check through chat, and we'll we'll get things moving. Hey, everybody, that said hi, hi back. Um, do do do. Any pertinent chat? You got a sub from somewhere? Yeah, there've been some gift subs being handed out, so you you must have been uh, AFK when a gift sub landed. Hey there, Spooky Man Sansar. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Any news on partnership? No news. Haven't heard a word. We're at uh, day nine since I submitted my application. So I submitted it 
not this recent Saturday, but the Saturday before. So we're, we're at day nine and still waiting. Haven't heard a thing. So, nope, I don't know. Uh, keep keep plugging away. I'll just keep doing what I do. And uh, hopefully I hear by this weekend. Um, that would be nice. I got some decisions I need to make, and a lot of them are somewhat hinging on uh, partner status. So, hoping to get the answer one way or the other. Even if it's a denial or a thanks for playing, please try again. Um, I need to know so I can move forward on a few things I'm trying to get done. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um... <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of changes, a lot of updates to the martial arts. I think there's a particular person who's uh, just rolling through the martial arts and uh, updating. I saw the Brazilian style just got a big upgrade right after I finished a run with it. <laughs> so now it's theoretically better than it was. Do do. What's end game for CDD even? I don't know. I don't know. I get kind of tired of the end game stuff, what little of it there is. There's really not that much end game for Cataclysm, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay. Technically, I guess end game is, eh, well, I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion. It's it's my own personal opinion, but everybody has their own opinion. Um, I'm not a big fan of the lack of end game content. Once you've seen a few pieces of it, you've pretty much seen all of it. It, it devolves down into, you can either face tank a burst of bullets or you cannot that that's end game so every single thing that seems to be able to kill you at a certain point devolves into bursts of bullets in your face hole so that, that's a bit that's about pretty much it <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it so unfortunately a lot of early game content decent amount of mid game content end game just kind of falls apart <laughs> there's just not much there <laughs> yeah, the Strange Temple is also not dangerous. <laughs> once, once you know how to deal with it, Strange Temple is super easy. So, <clears throat> And there's no reason to go there because all it has is those icky, icky artifacts. <laughs> artifacts. Yeah, I'll randomly die. Artifact. Fun. All right. So let's get moving again. Um... What was I working on? I forgot what I was working on. Uh, I forgot to uh, watch the last couple of minutes of my Monday or my Friday's run to see what I was planning on doing. I think I was talking about needing to get some extra food, so we managed we made sure we had enough skills so I could do the pine nut thing if I need to. Um, time of the day is it? 10 a.m. So it's not going to be ride my bike up in the town time. We do definitely still have looting to do. We've got uh, two bookstores back to back. Unfortunately, this one is facing the, the city, the main street, where the nameplate of the city is. So that one's going to be a little tough to get into. I am playing on my traditional settings of uh, double zombies. Have items spawn, all that. What day is it? We're up to day six, so not much evolution has happened yet. Um, but it will. It will happen faster than normal. Hmm... Almost all just housing down closest to me. No really interesting buildings down this side. I like it right up into the middle of the nameplate area. And we haven't seen the northern part of the town yet. We haven't managed to get to the top of a building with uh, binoculars or anything yet. <laughs> Alright, so all normal stuff. Nothing to do there, nothing to do there. I think it was just down to deciding when I'm going to get moving and what I'm going to do. I can keep pushing tailoring, finish that up to six. We're at four currently. That would give me a few more options on our crafting list. I haven't paid too much attention to because I haven't done a lot of uh, a lot of gathering of appropriate materials. I don't have any uh, restrictions on what I can use or carry this time around, unlike our last run with our... Our Larry dude. Um, <clears throat> you hotwired a car to move it. It triggered the security system. 
You remove the car battery and still making noise. Bugger feature. Oh, that's that's a feature. That's that's an awesome way of walking off with a car battery and having an alarm go off behind you to distract the zombies. Feature! I call it a feature. <laughs> Probably a bug. Don't know if it's... Uh, maybe the, the alarms in this game have their own power system as opposed to uh, running off the car battery. I don't know. It's the magical, magical, semi-not-quite future of the Cataclysm land. Uh, let's see. I think I just finished doing the um, repairing of the clothes. I don't have to worry about fungus up top or anything like that, so I'm happy about that. You've only ever seen... Uh, uh, what? Who's, who's asking what? Where does the laser cannon drop? Um, there's no laser cannon finale. There's the laser rifle, laser pistol. So, if you're meaning those, then yeah, that's a pretty common finale. Where you get the quantum solar panel, the two laser guns, the uh, computer printout, um, batteries, things like that. If it's not that, then you're talking about some kind of a mod. And I'm not going to be familiar with it. TX TAC 5LR laser cannon. That sounds like a mod. <laughs> eh, if you say so. Never seen it. And I've I've been in um probably <laughs> uh what, a thousand lab finales at this point? <laughs> so you got me. I don't remember anything about a laser cannon. Alright, what are we going to do here? Um, what's my food situation again? That won't last any amount of time. Cookies, pretzels. Not nearly enough for the rest of this stuff. I'm not sure what uh, my day-night cycle is either. So I think I'm just going to keep reading for the moment. And if we're still awake when the sun goes down, we'll make a run into town. That way we can get out of this lab. Um... Yeah, so focus is good. We must have just woke up. <laughs> if I got 100 focus, we just woke up. All right, let's just uh, let's finish off the sewing techniques and all that. And I don't want to use my MP3 player anymore. I remember that because we are running out of battery power for it. Hmm. Yeah, let's just push right through. Oh, look at that focus drop. <laughs> Yeah, you you guys can you guys can put paste or show me stuff all you want. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, I've never seen it, and if I haven't seen it, I don't believe it exists in a uh, standard current version game without a mod. I've never seen that I know of or remember a Cerberus laser turret. <clears throat> Did you see what new thing they added to CDDA? That's an every single day occurrence, old Ash. They just added mechs. Ah, okay. I don't know anything about mechs. I didn't see anything about mechs in the build notes for the uh, the updates. Uh, cyborg harvest. Hmm... No, I didn't. I didn't see any mech information, unless they're it's really oddly named. I didn't. Uh, I didn't read through them all in super detail, though. So if we run across it, great. <laughs> let, let me let's put it this way: if I haven't seen it, it doesn't exist, or it is so stupid, ridiculously rare, it might as well not exist. You can't plan around it. You can't really anticipate it, and so on. So there you go. <clears throat> of course, they do play on half item spawns, so that, well, would that make a difference? That would make a difference if it's an actual finale item. Because the finale rewards are set. I mean, it's not like they randomize. They're set. 
So, I mean, it's a finale, it's a finale. It's not a random chance in a finale. So, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. You guys want to tell me there's some mystical, mystical, uh, canon out there? Great. No problem. It might as well not exist, given how rare it must be if I haven't seen it. But if you want to go search 200 labs looking for it, be my guest. Have fun. Good times. Okay, so we got the first level done. Uh, we got our focus down to 50. And it is almost 7 o'clock already. It took almost the entire day. Um, yeah, that's that's not great. Let's go ahead and have some tofu a pair. And a couple cookies. Pear, tofu, and some cookies. That sounds yummy. All right, let's uh, read our, our happy-making books. Get our focus back up. And finish it off for 8.30. It's going to take us probably all through the night if I do that. Or wait until tomorrow. Hmm. Let's... Let's wait on that. Anything I desperately want to take with me. So we're using uh, Taekwondo. I'm still not super familiar with how I'm going to get that to work fully and properly. Um, <laughs> mm, monitor's too bright every time I bring up a... Uh, Age like that. <laughs> Dark mode. Stop light me up. And remember here. <laughs> Lots of blocks. Block, block. Lots of blocks. All right. I don't have my arm and leg guards yet, do I? I do not. I do not have armor or leg guards. All right. What's our fab at? Fab one. Not impressive. So we can do the metal arm guards and the chitin arm guards, but I mostly want leg guards. Yeah, that's that's not good. Hmm. Don't have neoprene sheets or plastic chunks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, that's metalworking. I'm not there yet, though. Uh, or I guess not metalworking. <laughs> I thought it was metalworking. Uh, 12, 12, 70% coverage, 6 encumbrance. Just need some leather patches. Um, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Hmm. Alright, um, do I have no leather laying around? Alright, so we need to accumulate some leather. I've got two mechanic skills, so I've got all the tools, I've got the mechanic skills, so I can take car seats apart. So, leather on the list of raw materials I need to come back with. I'll go without it this first trip. Um, I don't think it's quite dark out yet either. Wait, I'm back in the springtime, not the summertime. Let's pop upstairs real quick. I don't remember when it gets dark. It is dark. Cool. Alright. Next question. 20 volume. Don't have a lot of night vision. I'm not going to ride the bike up for this trip. Um, all right, taking all that, taking the reload.
Do I start with the really, really bad bow and arrow stuff? I don't think so. I'll, uh, we'll start working on that next time. Um, oh, that's right. I still got that really bad arm damage. All right, we're not quite going to go right now. I need to get at least one more night's sleep with bandage and disinfectant in order to uh, get those arms up. So, yeah, we're, we're going to hang around a bit longer. All right, let's just grab this stuff back up. Not quite ready to go yet. I forgot I needed to wait for that to uh, get a little healed up. I can't take the chance of that getting too bad. All right, go ahead and finish this. We'll work on this. We'll get a few levels of fab done the hard way. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. Make some decisions on our gear. Okay, done with that book. Tailoring six, pretty good for this early in the game. And let's have some broccoli, an orange, more cookies. And clean water. Okay, I think we're sleeping up here. Oh, it's nice to be in a... God damn it, I did it again! <laughs> oh, oh, so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Uh, I talk about it, I talk about it, I remind myself, and then I instantly run up and my fingers just jump into bed. <laughs> That's two nights with no healing. <laughs> the challenge this run is going to be me remembering to put on some damn bandages and disinfectant. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, <laughs> oh, so bad. That's some rookie stuff there. That's some rookie maneuvers. Uh, I don't have a single fab book at level three, so that means I would have to manually push fab all the way to five, which kind of sucks. That last two levels, four and five, are a bit ugly. I'm not even sure I've accumulated enough random crap to do the early stuff. Uh, that's so annoying. <laughs> can't believe I just talked about it, and I still did it. All right, what are we up to? Wooden needles next? Wooden needles, yep. Wooden needles to get to the next one. Um, let's stand up next to our table first. All right, wooden needle. Nope, 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 nope. Knitting needle, not wooden needle. Three minutes instead of 20 minutes. Uh, I don't think I need that many. All right, so... There's Fab 2, and next up uh, is the Distaff and Spindle. Two, oops. Uh, let's go ahead and read that once. Twelve of that. And there's Fab 3. <laughs> so simple. All right, and after that, it gets a little tougher. Um, which one was it? Was it the metal arm guards? Scrap arm guards. I don't remember scrap arm guards. 30 minutes string and scrap, huh? Hmm. Might have to reevaluate some of these things I do because there's new stuff nowadays. Fab 3 survival, 15 minutes. That takes. Duct tape, threads, no problem. Planks, not a big problem. And then plastic bags or more duct tape. Um, I think it's the smoother. Eight minutes, fab three, nails and planks. Metal hand axe. Ten minutes. 
Just a chunk of steel. Hmm. Wooden boat hull, five planks and nails, one minute. Well, that's that's quick. Hmm. I don't have enough though. Nails laying around and planks. Yeah, we'll do. The wood smoother. Um, focus is good. Now for we got to eighty three. I'm gonna need to go get some more materials. All right, time to go get some more wood. <laughs> Activate. Fab four. Not too bad. And five. This is where I remember it getting a little tougher. It's been a while since I've had to manually do this. Usually I get the three to six book very quickly and easily. Scrap, no problem. Nails, bit of a problem. Planks, not a big problem, but... Yeah, the list is pretty damn small here. I think it'll be the middle fishing spear that I can't do anything with. Let's see. Speed up again. Alright, 136 sounds good. Do 10, see how that does. Alright, Fab 5. 3% into the next level. Yeah, Fabs, when you know the progression and you know how to look for the recipes, Fabs... Uh, Pretty easy. Just uh, accumulate some basic raw materials, hit certain recipes at certain levels, and you can level fab pretty consistently. So now that we've hit fab 5, we can go all the way to 10 with this one book. That's not the best book. Firefighting at 7 is going to take us from 7 to 9 super quick compared to this 55-minute read time. So we'll... Uh, We'll do the Samurai for two levels, then we'll switch to Firefighting for two levels, and then we'll finish it off with Samurai again. So we can go all the way to 10 with Fab now. That's that's good. Um, I also want to finish pushing Mechanics to three. I don't have a lot of use for Mechanics, since we do have a restriction. No no driving of vehicles this, uh, this run. We're going to be restricted to our bicycle. And we may bling it out, mod it up, but um, got to stay pedal-powered. No, no, no engines, no motors, none of that stuff. Um, other than that, not a lot I can do to raise first aid to three, unfortunately. Splints. I could do it off of splints. Planks, strings, that'll get me one more level. Rags. 
eggs I've got, duct tape I've got, and I've got some alcohol and disinfectant, but not nearly enough. Well, let's do some of that anyway. I'm going to need more bandages. Let's do three of those out of rag and medical tape. And let's do denatured alcohol. All right, that got us to 49%. And then let's do arm splints. Five of those. Hmm, it's got to be the string. Only one, huh? All right, let's uh, do that one. There we go. First aid to two. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's kind of what I remembered being the problem. Saline solution. That's right. All I need is salt for that version of the recipe. Um, it's sure going to be easier just to go find the damn book. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to push that one. We're going to we're going to head out on a night raid here pretty soon, hopefully, anyway. Big Book First Aid's fairly common. I'd much rather level up with that. Um, all right, I think we're just going to switch over to uh, more fab for now. Let's have some pretzels. Pistachios. Some crackers. And some more water. Mm -hmm. Let's um let's finish up mechanics first. Let's get that out of the way. Tired. Stomach feels so empty. I know. Uh, we're about to go to sleep, and I will, I will, I will remember this time. Let's, um, I think I'm just going to eat this chunk of fat. Let's get our, get our calories jumped to back up a bit. We're not full yet? All right, let's have um, pretzel and other stash shapes. <laughs> Apply. Bandage. Okay, average and average still. All right, game. I want to see some progress on those arms finally. <laughs> it's third night. Uh, man, what is with these stomach so empty messages? I must really be tanking my uh, food supply because that's like um, seriously low calories. I'm going to have to go get a bunch more chunks of fat and just keep scarfing them down to get my calories back up. Still, even with the bandage and the disinfectant, not a single tick of movement. <laughs> Damn. This is this is some rough stuff. Alright, chocolate bar, salad, fruit leathers, more cashews, more junk calories. We are definitely going to need to go get some food. Whoops. Didn't mean to take the whiskey. I meant to have the, uh, the other good stuff. I think... I, I can't... I, I don't want to leave until I get at least another bar on those arms, but at this rate, I, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I'm going to run out of food before I get those bars I want. 
Uh, poor focus. Hey, we got a bar movement. <laughs> and they're degrading fairly quickly. All right, six six. You know what that means? Erk. It means I can't spell. Erk. Come on. Light survivor gear. Light survivor suit. Hmm. We're only missing all of it because <laughs> I haven't. I haven't had a chance to really go around and grab anything yet. So, I'll be on the lookout for all the normal stuff. Raincoat for that one. Chest rigs, drop pouches. Usually I get this by hitting the barracks here in the lab. I get plenty of most of the military items here. And I use those. Duct tape, I'm going to need more of, of course. And um, Kevlar of any of several different varieties. So, we'll be looking to bring some of that back. That'll really, really ratchet up our survivability if we can get to that point. All right, more of the hungry. Let's actually do some cooking. What can we cook up? Let's cook up protein drinks, protein shake. Protein shake, please. Out of the apple? Sure. And that's next up. Protein drink. Um, consume it. And well, let's cook it now. All right. Hopefully, we're starting to make some make some gains on getting my my calorie count back up again. Um. Yep, let's just keep uh, hammering away at this. I'd like to get one more. Well, if I can push it to seven, then it's real fast to push it to nine. So I'm not sure I have the food to do it, though. That's going to be my problem. Whoops. Damn it. Put out the fire. Well, let's stop. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Try to heal up again. Have some more oatmeal. Another tick. Can we get them to half? I'm not even sure. Oh, we got one. We might still have room to get that other one to half. Or get, get up to full. Nope, didn't quite make it. Alright, ideally I'd like one more night, but I'm not sure I can afford it. It's 11.30 p.m., so it's night right now if I was going to go out and about. I think I'm going to need to do. All right, sated and turgid. We didn't quite make the next level of fab. We'll, we'll save that. Um, yeah, chitinous. What are we looking at? 37 currently. That's with duster, backpack, and a bunch of odd stuff. Um... Hmm. Debating on whether or not I want to uh, double backpack, take a duffel bag.
I'm torn. I'm torn. Do I bother doing any of this intermediate stuff? My habit is by, usually to uh, just stick in random found gear. And if I have a chance of getting my skills up this quickly, where I've got fab and tailoring, I just jump straight to the uh, survival gear immediately. But um, things are running a little backwards this time. I'm actually... I've leveled up those skills faster than I was expecting, and I don't have my raw materials ready yet to, uh, to do that. This will be really the first night that we're going to do a, uh, a real raiding run into the town. It's early enough. We shouldn't see much in the way of escalated zombies. Our stats are good. I think, I think I'm going to duffel bag it. We've got a bit of a trip to make, so I think we'll duffel bag... All right, that gives me plenty of carry volume. We'll be avoiding pretty much everything. Leave the books behind. Make sure I grab some more disinfectant. Um, don't need that many bandages with. Got our whiskey for painkiller. Got our gun and our ammo. Yeah, I think we're good. So we'll wield the storm. Can't let too much more time go by. I think I'm going to go out without the guards this time. We'll plan on getting a full set, hopefully put together, of cool stuff when we come back. Headlamp has got enough power. All right, let's let's um, let's do it. Let's go out in the dark. Go out in the dark, scary place. Where's my bike, anyway? <laughs> hey there, bike. I don't suppose it's a full moon. It is not a full moon. All right. One, two, three, four, five. That's my normal night vision. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, let's just uh, let's do it. I haven't seen any ants or fungal down this area, so... Uh, that is a good number of seats for leather. I could take that apart in the daylight hours. That'll give me a good amount of leather. we got, what, six seats in here? Plus the seat belts for the rope. <laughs> Alchemy Part 2? I haven't been able to explore Alchemy Part 1 yet. <laughs> part 2 in integral? <laughs> is Part 1 non-functional until Part 2 arrives, or...? Did I just not really get enough chance to uh, to, to learn part one? Hey there, get black. Welcome. So yeah, we got uh, we got stuff here. Actually, oh yeah, it does have controls. What does it take to repair? I uh, can't. Right. Do I care? I don't care. Let's. Uh, I want to know repair controls. Mech two and controls and uh, welding gear. Um, all right, that's not too tough. Not that I, I can drive it. I was just curious. All right, so yeah, so for raw materials, pretty good. How come the Wienermobile doesn't have... Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. How come the Wienermobile doesn't have a kitchen? What the hell kind of Wienermobile is this? Maybe I don't know what the inside of a Wienermobile is supposed to be. I thought they actually cooked <laughs> the hot dogs there. Is it just for display purposes? Maybe that's it. Uh, hey, Varm, really enjoy your content. One question. How do you scroll through all the items you can visually see? Um, do you mean... There's, there's a few ways you could mean that. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough examples here near me. Um... I'll, I'll get to some items and we'll we'll figure out your question. <laughs> Zombies! I guess I should turn safe mode on when I'm fast moving like this. That would be the smart thing to do. Alright, zombies tearing apart an APC. Do I have earplugs yet? I do not remember. 
I don't think I have earplugs yet. I'd like to grab earplugs. If APC has that option. That's a lot of zombies. Um Yeah, that's 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 too many zombies. Alright, we'll let them do their thing. Hey, smoke! Smoke zombie! Day 10 smoke zombie? Well, that's different. Hmm. Hmm. I don't often see the smoke zombies this early. Ah, it's cargo spaces, which I don't need. I gotta get myself out of the habit of looking for vehicle stuff. It's a filthy habit. It's a filthy habit. I'm trying to break it. Alright, so we're gonna have a good amount of leather. Oh. Wow, there we go. So, here for example. Uh, are you referring to this list? How do you scroll through this? I'm not sure what you mean. I need more uh, I need more details on which which view mode you're talking about. There's so many ways of viewing items and info. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Ah crap, we're about to get dazed. Do I care? Is there a way you can have zombies evolve slower? Sure. <laughs> go to your options when you're creating your world. Go to the uh, monster evolution scaling factor and make it a bigger number. The default value is four. Think of that as the amount of time that goes by before they evolve. So by lowering it, I have made the evolution faster. So I play with double speed evolution because I've got it at two instead of at four. So my zombies evolve twice as fast. If you want them to evolve twice as slow, move that number to eight in your game world. Goes all the way up to 100. <laughs> so you can you can make them pretty crazy slow ev evolution. But uh, yeah, just when you set up your game world, just look at that monster evolution scaling factor and change that number. Bigger equals slower evolution. Um, This basement's not going to have anything I really care much about, so I'm just going to leave it alone. One more I could take apart for some components. Namely, a spring. I remember it has springs and uh, the blades. Uh, the view mode where a list appears on the side of the screen and the cursor that also allows you to free view appear. So that would be this mode, I assume. <laughs> Yeah, lots of folks mistakenly set the evolution factor. You've made your evolution four times faster if you set yours to one. <laughs> you, you thought about it in the wrong direction. So you want big numbers for slower evolution. Small numbers means you're a tryhard like me, and uh, you're trying to make things more difficult for yourself. So yeah, lawnmowers are cool. Um, they've got the engine, they've got pipes, they've got a small metal tank, the blades for certain weapons you can craft, and uh, springs. Used to be springs were harder to come across, but um, standard zombie. Uh, let's take off the duffel bag until I actually need it. Yeah, I got space. All right, I'm gonna see how we do here. All right, not bad. Let's see. Don't need fire. Ooh, leather backpack. Um, yeah, we'll grab that temporarily. Alright, so this list here, you can scroll up and down. This is the, the Shift V, capital V, view list for all items that are in your sight range. And uh, you can hit Tab to switch to a monster view or item view. And then you can hit S, you see here, S is kind of highlighted to switch from category mode to distance mode. So, so this is showing things from distance, and then this shows them via category. I prefer category mode myself. Um, now from this view, I can't unlock the camera and move it around. All I can do is up and down the arrow key to pick which items I'm, I'm wanting to look at details on. But that's the uh, Shift V view mode, or capital V, to jump into that mode. And I use it for checking monsters and for checking for items that are nearby that I care about. 
usually I set it to category mode, and then the stuff I'm most interested in typically are at the top or at the bottom of the list. All right, should be, yeah. It's super, super useful, especially for just checking quickly everything around me. So I step into the middle of all the item lists, I hit Shift V, and I can instantly see, especially according to categories, what's what, um, and make a quick, easy decision on what I'm gonna look at, as opposed to viewing with the free mode, which is what this is, the X key, and uh, checking items that way. Because a lot of times you can't see all the items in one position with this mode, uh, with either the mouse cursor or with the uh, moving it around manually. Um, but yeah, so if it's a ton of items, like I just killed 50 zombies, then uh, most of the things I care about are usually tools at the top of the list, or it's the items at the bottom of the list. You can also filter this to have it remove like filthy clothing, so it doesn't show you that. There's lots of things you can do in here. Um, you can set priorities, all sorts of stuff. I, I don't usually bother with that stuff, but it is there. It can be helpful. Whoop. Oh, no. Not the one I was hoping for. Alright. Birdhouse. So yeah, this is an example of when it's useful. I step to here. Instead of actually walking over there and checking, I can just hit Shift V real quick. And I can see everything in my sight range. So I know there's a Birdhouse Monthly, which eh, it's not too useful at this point. Um, and then I can just keep moving without having to really spend a lot of time. Multivitamins. Nothing in the tub. Stop running. All right, so this house is fairly done. Mark it off the list and move on.